Hello, and welcome back to Pittsburgh Transit Ideas. I'm Mike Tapato, and today I'll be sharing a few routes that I think can improve public transit in Pittsburgh, but more importantly, I'll be sharing a design concept that I think Pittsburgh Regional Transit should adopt more widely in their network. When you drive through downtown Pittsburgh, one of the first things that you'll notice is the intense traffic and gridlock, especially during the rush hours. Buses are pretty effective for getting cars off the streets and reducing traffic, but in downtown Pittsburgh, buses also create traffic and congestion, both for those on the bus and for other drivers. How, you might ask? Well, usually by turning. Imagine that you've pulled up to a light and you've pulled a few feet too far past the stop here and red sign. As you wait for the green signal, other cars pull up beside you and behind you, and then a bus makes a right onto the street that you're sitting on. It almost finishes the turn, and then it stops just short, blocked from completing the turn by your car. You can't pull forward because then you hit the bus. You can't pull to the right because the light is red and there are already cars there. You can't back up because there's already somebody behind you. So you stick your head out the window and you hope the other drivers are paying enough attention to what's going on. If you're lucky, a few drivers behind you will back up a little bit so you can move out and let the bus through. If not, you'll have to wait for the green light for the cars to your right to clear and then go around the bus. But in either case, while the bus was waiting to make that turn, other cars were building up behind it and missed the light. This happens in many urban areas, but particularly so in downtown Pittsburgh, where streets often meet at weird angles, road lines aren't always there, and lights are often missing a dedicated left turn signal. There is, however, a good solution to this, through routes, or in other words, to send buses through downtown rather than to downtown, which eliminates about half of the turns they need to make in the densest area of the city. This idea comes from New York City, though it's also been implemented in other places. It's clearly visible on the New York subway map. Because train traffic is very dense in midtown and downtown Manhattan, very few trains turn around there, with the exception of the L, S, J, Z, and 7 trains. Looking at the map, we can see that the F train starts here in Queens, enters midtown Manhattan, and then comes all the way down into Brooklyn through downtown Manhattan. Similarly, the 2 train starts in the Bronx, enters into uptown, and then goes all the way through Manhattan before coming out into Brooklyn. So how can we apply this to Pittsburgh? Well, let's take a look at the route that the East Busway buses take through downtown. The P1 comes in from the East Busway through Penn Station, and then turns around in a loop using Smithfield Street, 6th Avenue, and Grant Street. Now let's take a look at the route that the West Busway buses take through downtown. The G2 comes in on Liberty Avenue, and then makes a very similar loop using 7th and Grant. In this case, it actually even makes a turn tighter than 90 degrees. Given that these are both fairly frequent routes, when we look at an overlay of the two routes together, we can see just how many turns need to be made, each one risking gridlock from the problem that we discussed earlier. But what if we combine the East Busway and the West Busway into a single route? We get a new route I'm proposing called the East-West Busway, and that route could just breeze straight through downtown with no congestion generating turns at all. Only one very slight turn onto the East Busway itself would be necessary, we can substantially reduce traffic right next to the 7th Avenue exit on the Crosstown, one of the busiest areas in the entire city. There's also another hidden advantage to combining these routes together. It gives more people a one-seat ride, or in other words, a ride without a transfer, to more places. Say, for instance, that you're coming from East Liberty, and you want to go to Carnegie, or Crafton, or Sheridan, or anywhere else along the West Busway. As it stands, you'd have to take the East Busway bus to downtown, then get off and wait for a West Busway bus before continuing on to your destination. However, if we had the East-West Busway bus, you could simply get on somewhere along the East Busway and get off anywhere along the West Busway, or vice versa. For both East and West riders, the number of neighborhoods that you can get to without a transfer nearly doubles. As for funding, this idea literally wouldn't require any, except for a few East-West Busway stickers on some of the bus stops. Pittsburgh Regional Transit is already running a lot of East Busway buses and a lot of West Busway buses, so why not just combine these and make things easier for everyone? The same concept can also be applied to local buses as well. Consider, for instance, the 51 bus, which is one of the most frequent routes to the South Side and the South Hills, and the 12 bus, which is one of the most frequent routes to the North Hills. If we combine these into the 1251 
we could eliminate a lot of the turns that are needed in downtown for both, while at the same time giving people a single seat ride between the South Hills and North Hills with no need for a transfer. Indeed, I'd suggest that Pittsburgh Regional Transit take a look at the route map and apply this concept wherever they can. Any route that goes into downtown more than once per hour should be matched with another route that goes into downtown from roughly the opposite direction. Make the routes longer, eliminate turns downtown, and you can improve downtown traffic, make rides more convenient for those along both sides of the route, and probably even increase ridership along the way. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see these ideas put into practice, please share these videos as widely as you can and like and subscribe to help get them to more people. Please click on the link in the description or at the top of the channel to suggest them to Pittsburgh Regional Transit. If you have any ideas yourself for how to improve the Pittsburgh Transit Network, please leave them in the comments below or send an email to pittsburghtransitideas at gmail.com. If I like them, maybe I'll make a video about it. I'll see you soon with my next idea, Night Buses. Thank you.